So, your wedding's almost here. You've been through counseling. It looks like we're one step closer to the big day. We're right on track. So, Sandy, um, you said you had something you wanted to incorporate into the ceremony? Oh, yes. Her grandmother has this unity candle that they wanted to use at their wedding. Weren't able to use it, so we're going to. Okay, <laughs> not a problem. We'd be happy, happy to do that. So, um, so would you like me to hold on to it? Keep it safe here at church? All right. <laughs> so, um, well, the next time I see you, we're, it's going to be, it's going to be the big day. So she's just nervous. I'm sorry. She just wants everything to be perfect. Yeah, no apologies needed. I mean, I've been in ministry for over 20 years and I've seen all types of women that just want that day perfect. I've got one of my, of my own at home. <laughs> no problem, Bill. See ya, Pastor. Thanks. Charge you with my life. Hey, Pastor Wallace. What did you do? Keep an eye out for Sandy. I can fix this. I can fix this. Fix this, Sandy's head fell off. And I'm all twisted. I took sculpting in college. You took sculpting in seminary? It was before I was called into ministry, all right? I was an art major. Art major? Like, general art? Who gets a general art degree? Somebody didn't know what they wanted to do until God showed them the way. Now keep an eye out for her. Oh, I'm glad you brought all your general art tools for this special occasion. Really? She's coming, she's coming. Well, keep her away from here. Take her and leave. I got this. Godspeed. Hey, Pastor, what are you doing? Hey, wait, wait a minute, what are you doing? Just leaving, wanted to see how things are coming. We're getting there. Should be ready by the big day. Now you get on out of here, trust me. Okay, well, thank you, Pastor, again. On this account, a man shall leave his father and mother be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. From now on, your thoughts shall be for each other, rather than your individual selves. Your plan shall be mutual. Your joys and sorrows shall be shared alike.